going way down here. I had no problem with latency or anything. It's just a bit of an issue with the wind. Pretty good video from this far away. Yeah, I'm running the uh, Express LRS 2.4 GHz receiver on here. And no issues with uh, RSSI. Yeah, this wind is not good for this pit tune. It's kind of pushing it around and it's bobbling a lot. All right guys, so this video we're checking out the Beta FPV HX115LR. I uh, was planning to do the video on the HX115SC, but that one's currently out of stock right now. I'm not sure exactly why it was in stock, but it looks like it's been sold out. So I'll do a video on that a little bit later when uh, you guys have the ability to buy it. This one, this one here, the LR is currently in stock. It's um, essentially the same electronics. It's just that in a different frame and format here, and they're using the LR here, long range, quote unquote, long range as the selling point for this model. And it's because it's got the new um, Express LRS 2.4 gigahertz all-in-one flight controller board. You can see the antenna here mounted in the front and uh, pretty slick in terms of the uh, overall uh, build here. And you got that all-in-one flight controller board. I did show you that in the previous video on the Express LRS parts a few days ago and I'll link that down in the video description if you want to see a closer look at that board. Basically it's an uh, F4 flight controller. It has uh, the built-in receiver, the Express LRS receiver, plus the micro FL um, uh, antenna connection on the board. 1 to 2S board, 12 amps up to 25 amps burst. So yeah, for 1S there should be plenty of uh, power available to you in terms of the ESC. It does have the micro US, I'm sorry, the uh, USB-C type um, uh, connection there for the uh, flight controller board instead of micro USB. And you got a separate video transmitter. I think that goes up to 200 milliwatts, I believe. Battery goes on top here. You know, it's got the uh, top deck here for the 1S battery plus the 3D printer part to hold the 1S 450. And these are, of course, the um, PH 2.0 batteries. And yes, I did fly with the Nano module. Um, this is the 2.4 gigahertz nano module, obviously not the 900 megahertz one. I have both of them. Uh, and I flew with my T light. Uh, T light isn't officially supported, but I have done the power hack on my radio to uh, provide enough power for this module. If you don't do that power hack, this module is not supported on the T light. It's only supported on the X light, the X9, X9D or X9D lights, and the Tango 2. Those are the only, only ones that are officially supported for this module. But yeah, I did fly with the T light, no problem. Uh, the range doesn't seem like it's of an issue. I don't think I even got any uh, decrease in RSSI or signal strength. I didn't fly far away because I think my limitation is the video in terms of the analog video. Um, you could probably take this pretty far. Now the flight time isn't that great on this uh, 1S450. I think it's like, uh, I think I was I got like four minutes, I think. Something like that. Um, uh, you can watch the full flight link down in the video description. I forget, it's been a few days since I flew it. Now, they have a picture of this with a 18650 tray uh, for, uh, for an 18650 battery. So obviously they're kind of going after the whole craze of the Recon 3, you know, the flying battery concept. They didn't include that tray here in the packaging. I don't know if it's included or not, I haven't gotten a clear answer about that yet. I think that's going to be a separate part you can buy. I'm not exactly sure how it's going to be integrated with this because this obviously um, you have to attach it to the frame somehow and then change the battery connector here to accommodate that tray to put in that uh, 18650 cell. But I have a funny feeling that they might have tuned this for that heavier battery because on the lighter battery in any kind of wind, it gets pushed around pretty easily and you see a lot of these are micro bubbles and shakes and stuff typical of a tune that is doesn't have enough gains so it's either tuned for heavier setup or yeah basically it's basically in my opinion in my in my estimation uh it's been tuned for a heavier battery so i'm thinking they may have been the, the last time that they've been were tuning this they were probably tuning it with 18650 on here and left those settings on there forgetting that they were selling this original uh, or are selling this currently with the 1S450 as, as the main battery. So the tune isn't great, but you know, Beta FPV, they're not known for their pit tunes. 
generally speaking, they kind of just put together kind of something quick and it's sometimes viable, sometimes not. This one here, not so good in the wind, um, gets pushed around a lot because it's really light. It needs higher P and D gains. But again, because this is a review video, I don't do pin tuning on the quads unless requested by enough people. So if you're interested in that, do leave me a, a note down in the comments section. Uh, you're just seeing what, what it comes like out of the box from the factory. And it's how I do all my reviews. But yeah, uh, you see how you, you've seen how it flies. Basically, it's another like 1S type of toothpick. But I think this one here is meant for like longer flight times, cruising, you know, um, a little bit further range. You know, you can go a little bit further with the this, this setup here than the FreeSky D8 receiver on the uh, HX115 uh, SE, the more traditional toothpick style. So, you know, it's a little bit of a, a different concept here. I think that they're kind of geared this towards that 1850 battery tray, but they didn't include that here. So there was no way for me to show it to you. But anyway, um, it's a nice, you know, obviously the, the bottom plate is a single piece. Uh, let me show you how much this weighs before I end the video here. Because everyone's going to ask me how much does it weigh because it, I can't click the product link to find out. All right, so coming in here at 44 and a half grams. And then uh, with the 1S450 as flown in the flight footage, 57 grams. So for a 1S toothpick, you know, obviously it's top mounted battery. It's a little bit on the heavier side with the um, bigger antenna and all that, but yeah, um, not really, um, super light, but not terribly heavy either. And oh, oh yeah, by the way, the motors are 1102, 18,000 KV, and we have the HQ 3020 props, and the camera is the Cadex Ant. Okay, that's gonna do it for this video. I'm out of here. Talk to you later.